Florida is under attack. Over 100 reptiles and amphibians from around the world have invaded and are on the move. The authorities seem powerless to stop them as they multiply and spread into suburban communities. Now, an invasive creature SWAT team is here to hunt these menacing predators. And top of the target list is the Burmese python, a snake they're encountering for the first time. Don't hesitate. Don't. Can this team stop the invasion of the swamp monsters? We're going out here and trying to control a problem. So we're talking about killing them. Do you think that's the right approach to take? It has to be. They're, they're a nightmare for our ecosystem here. It's, it's a sad problem because they're gorgeous creatures. I and mean, look how beautiful he is. That beauty makes these snakes popular pets for some. But even with Burmese fully raised in captivity, their killer instinct remains. So as a scientist, I wanted to get some hard data on how powerful these snakes are. What are we going to do here? What we're going to do is we're going to take this pressure sensitive pad, wrap it around your arm, and we're going to put that snake over the top of the pad. That's going to give us an idea of how hard these things squeeze. You got me covered, right? You know how I feel about snakes. You'll be all right. <laughs> Jackson is our guinea pig, and Jackson is nervous. I've done a lot of things with snakes, but I ain't done this yet. Well, Jackson comes from in Oklahoma. There are snakes everywhere, but they're venomous snakes. So he probably looks at every snake like it's venomous. I would be too. I know what you're doing here. Yeah. yeah. We're coming out of the greens and getting into the red, so we're about 14, 15, now 16. You can let him go, Carl. Jackson did not want anyone to be in control of that snake's head other than himself. Look over the head right now. No. Come on. <laughs> no. Look over. No, man. I'm not a pretty guy, but. I do not want a snake hanging on the edge of my face. Let go. Good. Now hang on, man. Okay. Wait a minute. Don't hang worry. On. Just trust me here. <laughs> man, I don't trust dudes, man. This snake had his eyes on me every move I made, and I had my eye on him every move he was making. Hey, wait a minute, man. He's, he's taking hold now. Yeah, he is. I watched Jackson's hand turn from normal color to red and eventually even purple. Yeah. Hey, this snake, they start out and the pressure's constantly building. A little more pressure, and a little more pressure. Right there, she just peaked at 24. Yep. Hit 24, did you feel that? Yeah, I'm feeling it, get him off, man, come on. We just hit Ooh. a 30. Based on this experiment, it's abundantly clear to the team that if an 18-foot snake managed to coil itself around one of them, it would be almost impossible to remove without help. Even though it was just on Jackson's arm, you could see that if that happened to be around his neck and you were all alone, it would be trouble. As people move more around the world, we're gonna be moving wildlife with us. And we know that these animals are gonna have impacts on the habitats where they live, and they're gonna affect the people in those places where they don't belong. Trapping and hunting remain the only real ways of trying to stop the spread of these killer creatures. But it's not enough. And the next nightmare is just waiting to be unleashed. <laughs>